Classroom? Yeah. Up actually here. All right. Here we go. This is day one, episode one. Welcome back. Oh, <laughs> Dad. Here you go. Dad. Hey, class. Hey, class. Welcome back to the online learning course that you didn't sign up for. Uh, this is Pen Pandemic Edition. This is Design 264. I'm Avery, your host, and this is Beckett, my occasional co-host. He's conscripted to be here. Okay, um, so this is totally crazy and the world is upside down. Um, but before we start this six-week Pandemic Edition course, I just want to remind you what you've done so far in this class. So, we had... In Project 1.1, your combined efforts, you translated 180 uh, emotions and feelings into non-objective shapes using just two colors, black and white. You played with contrast. You played with uh, figure ground relationships. You played with texture. You played with scale. It was great. In Project 1.2, you translated a sound into a five-color image. that embraced or rejected illusionistic space in the pictorial plane. In Project 1.3, you explored the connotative and denotative meanings of widely recognized graphic signs in the form of an Al Jaffe-style fold. And in Project 2.1, you mashed up images and text, channeling collage artists from the Dada movement uh, all the way through up to now with our fried memes um, and social media posts. So. Keep in mind, you've done so much already, right? Yeah. Yeah. You guys have done so much in this part. This next part, this next five weeks, this next six weeks is going to be a little different. Um, it's all virtual. It's all online. Um, you'll be able to see me in these videos that I release. And we'll be able to see each other occasionally in Zoom conferences. Uh, but for the most part, we won't see each other. We'll be isolated in our individual rooms. We'll be using our individual desktop computers or laptops or iPads or phones um, to try and get college done. Um, and it's going to be really difficult, and I hope you all take it easy on yourselves. We're all going to figure this out together, okay? So, um, all that said, let me end this welcome back video with these words of advice. Let me end, let me end this welcome back video with a little moment of reflection. Uh, so right now, I feel the world is upside down. You all probably feel the same way. So right now, the world is upside down. And that thought made me think of the Fred Astaire dancing on the ceiling clip from whatever movie that's in. Why is that significant? So art has this incredible ability Art has an incredible villain. It made me think of art and perspective, and the perspective of artists, and the ability to reframe the world, redefine the world, reimagine the world, and reshape the world. Um, and part of that is through tricks. Part of it is through. Part of that is through tricks, like uh, you know, linear perspective, <coughs> and illusionistic space. And if you think about. Renaissance paintings that we talked about and looked at, and the friezes, and then even the work of Bridget Riley and the op art. Uh, there are all these tricks to play with the eye and change our understanding, or like adjust our perspective of the world, or redefine or reframe our perspective of the world. Um, so I offer this it's Fred Astaire, dates on the walls and the ceiling. Uh, as a way to think about an artist channeling an emotion, a feeling love, into an artistic expression, dance, and then a technical trick. Putting a room in a rotating cylinder and keeping the camera fixed. So, 
check out this clip and then check out this behind the scenes from when Lionel Richie did it in the 1980s. So remember the world is upside down, but as artists, you have the tools, the experience, the imagination to reflect on what's happened, to redefine it, um, and reframe our reality in whichever way you want. So, with all that said, Beckett is done with this tutorial, and I think we're gonna move on. So welcome back and get ready for the next one. Uh, episode two will be desktop portrait. Here you go, buddy. I know you're bored. Here.